welcome to a short little video. My name's Ellie and today I want to talk to you about knitting and wearing summer socks. Um, I've just noticed that the sun has decided to grace us with its presence so I hope that the lighting doesn't go too crazy but I'm just going to carry on. So as many of you know I love knitting socks um, and I knit socks out of wool in general they're about 75% wool and 25% nylon that nylon just adds a little bit of uh, memory to the socks that the sock is less prone to shrinking and doesn't need blocking every single time you wear it um, but the wool is really the the main character in the sock <laughs> um, and so I get asked all the time um, why I would wear wool socks in summer. Husband and I just recently went to Cape Town and I got asked a lot why we were wearing wool socks or knitted socks and um, sometimes if I gift people socks they'll say oh these are great winter socks. So I want to just talk a little bit about wearing socks in summer, why you would do it and why I think that hand knitted socks are kind of an all year round thing. So sorry if I keep looking off to the side I do have some notes. Um, so the short answer is yes, we do wear our wool socks all year round um, and of course I think you would like to and there's definitely some benefits. So I'm going to first start off about what kind of socks I would wear in summer. So the standard sock that I knit and wear, it looks like this. So it's got a long cuff, so it's got a long cuff up here and then it's got a long ankle bit. I, if you want to know, I do 20 rows for the um, rib and then I do 60 rows until I start the heel. So this is my standard sort of sock and this is the one that I prefer to wear in winter and that's the same for my husband. Whereas the socks that we like to wear in summer, um, I like a short little cuff so this is only 10 rows of um, ribbing before I start and then I go straight into the heel. Um, I don't do any sort of leg after the cuff and husband likes these rolled ones like this. Um, it's kind of hard to see when it's not on your foot um, but that's the rolled one. So this is just you do straight stocking knit for about an inch or two inches uh, depending on how big you want the roll and then you go straight into your heel. So the reason why I would opt for the short socks in summer is two things. The one is that while I would say that wool socks are not warmer than wearing, uh, like they don't make you more hot than wearing cotton socks are, having any sort of fabric against your skin will make you feel warmer or more clammy or whatever. Um, and so I would suggest wearing a shorter sock because it's just not going to go up your ankle and make you feel more warm. In my experience, I wouldn't say that wearing a short cotton sock is cooler than wearing a short woolen sock, but I would say that wearing a short cotton sock is cooler than wearing a long uh, woolen sock, and that's because, like I said, having extra fabric on your leg will make a difference. The other thing is that when it's hot, we tend, well, husband and I at least, tend to wear shorts or skirts or just things that are showing more of our leg, and so having a shorter little cuff at the top just above your sock tends to kind of fit our style better than wearing like a long sock and that's just like a personal preference of style um, that's not really if you like wearing long socks with your shorts then that's not a problem <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna go into some of the more sort of like technical aspects of wool um, and just a reminder like I'm not selling anything here I just really really love wool socks and I want to explain why I would be wearing wool socks. Um, so the first point is that wool is not warmer, it's insulative, which means that in winter it feels warmer and in summer it actually feels cooler. Um, and I think there's a number of reasons why we always associate wool with being warmer. Um, one of the things is that wool is often used for things like jerseys and scarves and hats and so we just associate them with warm clothing but nowadays with new technology and stuff people are actually making these companies out there busy making um, t-shirts and stuff out of merino. Merino is a wool um, and this kind of factors into another aspect in that this is quite technical for people who are not really into knitting, but different wools have different feels. So different sheep have uh, different sheep breeds have different types of hair um, or wool. 
and the different it can be coarse or it could be quite fine and merino is the finest um, and so it feels very soft and so then it feels it can make you feel comfortable whereas some of the wools which are maybe from meat sheep breeds or kind of more rustic sheep breeds those can be more coarse and can be kind of prickly and itchy and that prickle and itch can actually make you feel a bit warmer in winter so if you're wearing a jersey that has a bit of a prickle to it it can actually make you feel warmer whereas if you were going to so if you're going to knit socks then you want them for summer you want them out of something finer like a merino that's going to not make you feel so hot and prickly and that's just because of a texture thing that's not because it's actually making you warmer um so the kind of bottom line for that point is that wool both makes you feel warmer in winter and it makes you feel cooler in summer uh, my second point is that wool can, and I will add like links in the description so that you can see where I got this information, but basically wool can absorb up to 60% of its own weight in moisture before it actually feels damp. And so that includes your sweaty feet. <laughs> um, and so a big thing for me is when I wear cotton socks, they often, because cotton absorbs moisture really well, but it cotton tends to absorb the moisture and hold it and so my feet tend to feel really sweaty quite quickly or clammy or whatever you want to call it um whereas wearing when you wear woolen socks they often don't feel all sweaty and that sort of thing because the wool can actually hold so much of the moisture at without you actually feeling damp um Another thing that kind of follows on from that is that wool is wicking, which means that it draws the moisture away from your foot to the surface of the sock. And then that allows it to have a bigger surface area to actually evaporate off. So you actually do have less sweaty feet when you wear wool because it's busy pulling that moisture away and allowing it to evaporate off. Unlike cotton socks, which pull off the moisture and then hold it and can land up feeling very sweaty. And finally, to do with the kind of sweaty aspect as well, wool has natural antibacterial properties, which means that your feet will actually smell less because the sweat and stuff is not building up and the um, bacteria are not building up. And so literally your feet don't, well, for me, at least in my experience and in my husband's experience, um, our feet do not smell half as bad when we wear wool socks as when we wear cotton socks. And I actually know people who wear their socks for multiple days, one pair of wool socks for multiple days before they wash them. Because of this whole, it draws out the moisture, it evaporates it away, it doesn't build up the bacteria, it doesn't smell as bad. You, some people do actually get away. I guess it depends on how sweaty your feet are and like how much activity you're doing, but some people can get away with a couple of days of wearing one pair of socks before they have to wash them. Um, so all of these things mean that I think that wool socks are perfect for summer uh, and we love them for winter as well. So yes, we do wear our socks all year round, although we do prefer, prefer the shorter socks for summer or for when we're wearing shorts and that sort of thing. And we prefer the longer socks for winter. Um, just like some bonus information, um, obviously in hiking circles, merino socks can be very popular because they are wool socks and so they have all these great properties. Um, but the benefit is if you or if you knit socks yourself or if you know someone who knits socks, then you can have them made into shorter socks or often hiking socks in my experience tend to come in quite boring colours. And so if you know someone who can knit for you, they can make them in all sorts of interesting colours and you can match them to your outfit or whatever you want to do. Um, so that's kind of a great sort of extra thing. The other thing is that um, machine knit socks are in my experience, much more difficult to darn or to fix um, if you do get a hole. Whereas hand knit socks, especially if you are the knitter of the sock or if you know how to knit, then it's much easier to fix because the stitches are slightly bigger. Um, and so it's just, and, and it was obviously knit by a hand, so it's just easier to knit. And husband has, I say this a lot when I talk about my socks, but some of husband's oldest socks are from 2016. And we have. 2016 and I have only had to don maybe one or two pairs of his socks and all of the socks I knit him are still in rotation he's still wearing them and he's very hard on his socks and his shoes like his shoes he probably has to replace them like maybe every three to six months because he just wears giant holes in them so 
hand knit socks are just very durable and very useful and I hope that you enjoy wearing them. So I hope that you found today's video useful or informative and please share it with your friends if you think any of your friends would like to find out this information and if you did enjoy it please like and subscribe so that you can find more content when I post it. I hope you have a great day. Bye!